Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the show. I hope you guys are having a good day. In today's video, I would like to discuss a very, very quick topic about whether or not we should pursue both iOS and Android development at the same time. And this is actually a question that comes from one of the students on the website at letsbuildthatapp.com. And let me just quickly read off this question from Richard. He says that, can you offer me some advice, please? Uh, I'm gonna graduate soon. I would like to get into mobile development, uh, specifically iOS. However, I am familiar with Java and XML. Should I try to pursue a career in both? Is that a reasonable thing to pursue? I assume you know both and I find that encouraging. And also, is it too niche to pursue only native mobile development as a career? Uh, thanks again for the time you put into awesome material. Well, thank you for the question, Richard. And let me just give you some general tips and advice on this topic. So the general idea that I give to all of my students that are trying to learn so many different platforms is it's definitely a good idea as long as you're genuinely interested in learning these technologies. Now, exposing yourself to so many different languages is a good idea because it gives you a really good perspective as to how the technology landscape looks like right now and how it's going to continually evolve and change for the next couple of years. So I think iOS and Android, they're actually quite different in terms of the SDK and what kind of tools you have available. When you're writing out applications for iOS, you have to use a lot of view controllers. And then when you're using Android, you build things out with activities and fragments. And personally, I think if you learn both of these technologies, you really get a good insight as to where these platforms excel and where the specific drawbacks are. Now, having said all that, I wanna give you some more practical advice. If you're just graduating out of college, and you're looking for a junior development position, right? You're probably better off just sticking with one set of technologies. The reason why I say this is because a lot of companies are probably not going to hire someone that only understands these two platforms at a surface level. And what I mean is if you know how to build a calculator application or a blog application, they're probably not going to have a huge amount of use for someone with that particular skill set. So what companies are really looking for is someone that knows how to deal with hard and difficult topics such as concurrency with multi-threading, how to store data on the device, perhaps using something like SQLite and core data, and also someone that knows how to implement proper testing using an iPhone application. So ultimately, at the end of the day, companies are really looking for programmers that can write algorithms using well-defined data structures. In other words, what they're really looking for is someone that can know how to program and someone that can solve real world problems. It doesn't really matter if you know 10 or 20 different types of technologies. If you have a really hard time trying to traverse something like a tree data structure or sort a list of numbers, you've probably already failed a majority of your interviews. So the other question that Richard has is whether or not it's too niche to pursue a career in general native mobile development. So the answer to this is if you're successful in becoming a native mobile developer, you're going to find yourself naturally getting into other technologies such as server side coding. At a lot of startup companies, uh, you're going to have to modify server code so that the server is actually able to return the data that your client needs. So you're definitely going to have to dive into that part of the technology stack when you're required to. And then sooner or later, you're going to find yourself diving into the browser client code as well. And the reason why I say this is because a lot of native mobile developers also like to program with front-end technologies, so you're going to find yourself using things like React.js or even Ember.js. So in summary, if you're just starting off as a junior developer and you're trying to get a job out of college, I think it's much better if you stick to getting highly skilled at one specific set of technologies. Remember, startup companies are always trying to hire uh, more experts instead of just uh, plain surface level generalists. All right, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Richard, thank you again for that question. If you want to submit your own question for one of these videos, uh, make sure to head on over to letsbuildthatapp.com questions. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.